Yo guys, what is good? It's your boy Jamong here back again with another video and today we got a pretty fire unboxing. Alright, so before I start the video for today, I just wanted to say, if you guys are new here, welcome to the channel. Please, please, please smash the subscribe button. I very much would appreciate it. And welcome to the turntable gang. But if you guys are subscribed and you're coming back to another video, thank you so much for your endless support. I really, truly appreciate the amount that you guys are putting into watching my videos. And hopefully you're enjoying them as well. So going back to today's video, this is a sneaker that I got on Nike. Now, these released a while back maybe like a couple of months actually maybe maybe two months ago i missed out on the first drop i just completely slept through it and i didn't really care too much about it but then nike had a pretty soft restock not a lot of people knew that these ended up restocking and they're still pretty much on a lot of retail websites but i just happened to be on nike that day and i checked and they restocked so i went for them checked them out and got an easy w so i'm pretty happy about that i've never owned this kind of silhouette before but i am pretty excited to see them in hand so with that being said let's get the box open all right we got the box out as you guys can see we do have a black box with the iconic kobe mamba logo let's get the box open all right and the wrapping paper in three two one sheesh yes sir wow these are beautiful. As you guys can see, we do have the Kobe 8 Pro Tros in the University Red colorway. Now, I was actually kind of hesitant on whether or not I wanted to get these because they do retail at a price of $180. A little bit steep for a pair of sneakers, but I decided that I've never owned a pair of the signature Kobe lines before. I have owned a pair of like Kobe Phenomenons back when I was like in high school. Those don't really count as like the OG Kobe's. So I wanted to see what a pair of Kobe's really felt like in my collection. Now throughout the time of collecting sneakers, there has been two problems. First of all, Kobe's have always been really hard to get ever since his passing, RIP to Kobe. Their sneakers have always sold out right away and I've just never really gotten a chance to get any of the really sought after ones. But the other problem is that these sneakers are particularly made to play basketball in. And before a couple of months ago, I haven't played ball in ages. So I really didn't have a reason to get a pair of Kobe's. However, since I got my Sabrina 2's, I recently just started getting back into playing basketball again just because I wanted to wear them. Also, I love the sport. So I saw that these were releasing and I love the red colorway on them and I decided to just pull the trigger. Now, I don't know, this has always been quite a debate that I've had with myself of whether or not you can wear Kobe's for lifestyle. Now, on one hand, let's look at Air Jordans, for example. Now, Air Jordans are specifically designed for basketball. Over the ages, they have transitioned over to lifestyle. And I was thinking the same thing about whether Kobe's could do that as well. Could Kobe's be lifestyle sneakers instead of just exclusively for basketball? I'm not sure. Right now, we're not exactly at that age where we're trying to make that step. But in looking at the construction of Kobe's, they just have a really sporty and athletic look to them. I think the construction with all that padding makes it really hard to wear them when you're going out and about in the streets. So I don't exactly know if Kobe's could be lifestyle sneakers at the end of the day. But yeah, like other sneakerheads and hoopers i grew up always seeing other people wearing kobe's on their feet now i personally am the biggest fan of the kobe 8s out of all the models i know the kobe 6s are a pretty widely coveted silhouette right now but the kobe 8s have always been something that i've seen on people's feet you know how in middle school it was always the cool people the people that were like on the sports teams and everything they were always wearing the kobe 8s which is why i was always a pretty big fan of them now i don't exactly know the differences between Kobe 6s, 7s, and 8s, but I do like the aesthetic of the 8s, and I just think that it is very clean, very minimalistic. But yep, like I said before, the University Reds released along with a lot of other colors a couple of months back. They released in gray, navy blue, 
and then a white and purple colorway, a black and purple colorway. Out of all of them, I was the biggest fan of the reds. As you guys know, red is my favorite color, so that's why I had to pull the trigger. I thought that this was a purely red Kobe with the white swoosh to top it off. Looks very clean, very vibrant and flamboyant. So when it came to basketball shoes, I really had no reason to buy a lot. Now the only pair that I owned was the Kyrie Fours, which I played from time to time in. Now these right now are my outdoor shoes and they're very very beat as you guys can see there are so many scuff marks on them and yeah I'm really down to retire these soon. Honestly the Kyrie 4s are not even the best shoe to play ball in but then as you guys saw in one of my most recent videos I recently just picked up the Sabrina 2s in this conductor blue colorway and I thought these were so clean. These are my indoor shoes but it's nice to have a rotation so now I'm picking up the Kobe 8s. It's good that I get a blue sneaker as well as a red sneaker. Two of my favorite colors, especially one in this icy colorway and then one in this flamboyant red color. All right, so now that I've talked about my feelings of the sneaker, let's go into the shoe itself. So starting off in the upper, we do have a mesh construction, obviously in that university red. Now there is a mudguard area that is supposed to provide structure for the sneaker. It's in this plastic material, almost kind of carbon fiber. It is very stiff and again, I think it's designed to provide support for when you're wearing them on the court. Now moving over to the tongue area, we do have the University Red Laces. The sneaker throughout is very monochromatic in that same tone of red. And then moving into the tongue, we do have a plush leather tongue. And then as we move to the top of the tongue, we do have the Kobe logo, which is embroidered into the tongue. And this is obviously to indicate that this is a signature sneaker of Kobe Bryant. Now, I always love the Kobe logo because unlike the other athletic signature sneakers out there, it's not just his initials. Rather, I believe Kobe Bryant said it is a sword in a sheath. Now, there's a whole backstory to that. You can look it up. But again, this has a story behind it. As we transition over to the side profile of the sneaker, we do have a white embroidered swoosh, which is very clean, obviously contrasting with the rest of the very red, vibrant colorway. Now, as you move to the back of the sneaker, we do have a mix of plastic and carbon fiber in the heel cup. And obviously, again, that's to provide support for the sneaker. It is very firm and stiff. But on top of that, we also have Kobe Bryant's signature in script written in white on the heel cup. But then behind the plastic heel cup, we do have the Kobe logo once again in white. This time it's partially cut off, which gives off a very subtle look to the sneaker, but also showing the branding as well. Now moving over to the midsole of the sneaker, we do have a rubber construction. Moving towards the top of the outer side of the sneaker, we do have the Kobe logo once again that is the boss in there. I forgot to mention that on the inner side profile of the sneaker, we do have another swoosh that is embroidered in the back part of the sneaker as well. Now moving to the back profile of the midsole, we do have what appears to be like braille. I could be wrong, but it's in all these little like circles which is pretty common for Braille. I think that they all are in that same patterning, so it might not be. But if you guys know what this specific pattern is for or what the significance of it is, let me know in the comments down below. Now moving over to the middle of the inner side, of the midsole, we do have this carbon fiber panel in black. As we transition to the outsole of the sneaker, we do have, again, this Kobe 8 traction patterning. In the center of it, we have another black panel in carbon fiber once again. And then moving to the back of the outsole, we do have that Kobe Bryant logo once again that is embossed in red. And then moving to the inner of the sneaker, we do have a lot of padding and cushioning in the ankle area, which is designed for maximum support when you're wearing them, obviously, so that you don't sprain your ankle. Now, I'm not gonna take out the insoles because they were extremely hard to take out, but when I did try to take them out, the insoles are extremely thick, which I believe is intended for maximum shock absorption. But if you guys can see on the insoles clear enough, the insoles are made in rubber. And again, they do have the Kobe Bryant logo once again. All right, John Ness, I'm trying these on for the first time right now. I'm finally getting an idea of how they fit. Now I will have to say that they are pretty tight. So I would say that if you were to buy a pair for yourself, it does not hurt to go a half size up. I didn't realize that Kobe's actually fit pretty small. I think I heard it from somewhere, but I must have forgot. Nevertheless, it's not gonna be a problem because I am convinced that these will probably stretch out as I play in them more. Also, my socks are Bombas, so they are pretty thick and padded. It was pretty hard getting them on. 
but I do have them on and they don't fit too badly. So yep, I guess that's a good thing. All right, so I just filmed the video and I was trying these sneakers on. One thing that I didn't notice before that I just noticed now is that there is a hidden message in the toe box area of the sneaker. So as we look closely right below the laces, in the perforation area, we do have a hidden message that is stitched into, again, the perforation. Now it reads KB24, which obviously stands for Kobe Bryant, and then 24 being his signature number. Again, you really wouldn't notice this if you did not take a super close look at the sneaker, but it's the kind of hidden details that I really love when it comes to sneakers like these. Overall, the Kobe 8s are a very solid sneaker, and I'm happy to have these. Don't mind if I do when it comes to owning a pair of Kobe's in my collection, because at that moment, I did not have any Kobe's. I mean, ever since Kobe's passing, I would say that Kobe silhouettes are pretty popular in sneaker culture nowadays. So if you are a sneakerhead in today's sneaker culture, I would say that owning a pair of Kobe's is pretty essential. Personally, for me as a sneaker collector, I like to own at least one of every single thing that's pretty popular on the sneaker market and owning a pair of Kobe's is no different. It's not so much because it's hype, but it's rather trying out all the different things that are out there because I want the most experience when it comes to wearing sneakers. So yep, we can go ahead and cross off owning a pair of Kobe's on our bucket list because we finally have one and we got it for retail. So that's what is awesome about this sneaker. So here we have the Kobe 8 Pro Tros in the University Red colorway. If you guys made it this far in my video, thank you so, so much for watching. But now I would like to hear from you guys. What are your thoughts on wearing Kobe's as lifestyle sneakers? Do you rock with it or do you disagree with that? Are Kobe's specifically designed to play on the court? Let me know in the comments because I really want to hear other opinions. Personally for me, I'm probably going to keep these on the court rather than wearing them for lifestyle, but you never know as trends are always changing. And if you guys like the video, please give it a big thumbs up. And if you guys want to hear more from me, smash the subscribe button because more will be on the way. Again, these are the Kobe 8s, and I'll see you guys in the next video. Peace!